What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to New Woodshire here on Farming Simulator 19. Today is Harvest Day. What do we have? Well, if you didn't see yesterday, we were able to plant corn in 18 and 20. We've got sunflowers in 31, 32, and in 33 and 35, we have from, from, mm, grass. Yep, that's the one. So <laughs> we are ready to harvest all across the board. Everybody's ready to go except for 32. I'm not really sure what happened there. Nonetheless, let's jump in and let's make some stuff happen. First off, we're going to go ahead and get the combine ready to go, and we are going to get ready for harvest. Let's hook up and let him do his thing. I'm back and forth about doing corn and sunflowers, but here's the thing. I've got a lot to do today. So, sunflowers are first because we are going to be rocking and rolling getting things done. Let's jump into first person here and let's get this guy opened up. Oh, man. Yes, yes, yes. Massey Ferguson colors all over the place on this guy. I am loving it. Here's what we are going to do. We are going to take this. We are going to hit our headland down here at the bottom. And then up the other side, I'm going to hire a worker and just let him go. There we go. And that's the game plan, at least right now. Second thing on the list. We need to go into the garage and repair anything that needs repairing. Quite a few things I'm sure are going to need it. Oop, there we go. We'll go and get that. Get that repaired as well. What else do we need? That needs to be repaired. So you can see quite a few things needed to be repaired. I'm just glad that we got that out of the way. Hey, vehicle running costs. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Almost done here. We're actually getting a lot of sunflowers. A lot more than I was expecting to get off this field. We might have, not have enough time to go do what we need to do. Come on. Get the rest of it. There you go. Now that we've got our headland down here at the bottom. Speaking of. Where is where's the traffic? Nope, that's dirt. Automatic edge start. Nope, traffic. That's the one right there. I need some vehicles or something running around. It's kind of lonely out here by myself. Let's set this guy off. Boom. All right. Next thing on the list. We need to sell some milk, manure, and slurry. I'll let him do his thing. So, first up, let's get... Oh, <laughs> wrong button. We're going to get our JCB hooked up because I'm going to be using our semi-truck. Right up here, you can actually see... We've got the manure set ready to go. Unfortunately, I did that yesterday. Also, I made it all nice and, uh, it's like stone, I guess, down there or something like that. I don't, I don't know what you would call that, but I put down a new slab and everything is good to go there. So this, I almost, almost sold these trailers yesterday. I almost, even off, off screen, I almost sold them. I was like, you know what? Eh, we'll need them one day. I'll just hang on to them until we need them. Well, guess what? Today, that day has come. Hopefully, they'll be able to go down and back and then come back again and be good. There we go. That is stage one, is to get this guy ready to go to go. Now, let's go grab our case telehandler and let's set up some more manure. Beep yourself. Get out of here. Here we go. I love, actually really, really like this guy right here. I like the backup sound because it's way, way different than any other backup sound that we've got. And I really like that. So you can see here, uh, I've actually come through because there were some like plants and stuff and it was all in the way. So I came through and I put down just this slab. I flattened it out and made it kind of work and, and make sense. There we go. So this, we've got quite a few things here. This trailer is almost full. I think we had like 55 or 56,000 liters of manure in here. So this is about ready to be done. Also, for those of you that caught yesterday's video, yes, I am going to make the fertilizer video. Um, it is going to take some time, so it may be a couple days before you guys see anything like that. Uh, just because of how long it is actually... Ooh, that's not good. Just because of how long that video is actually going to take to make. Um, so it's going to take a lot of recording, a lot of editing. Thank goodness I'm on PC. That's going to make it a little bit easier, but it still doesn't make it crazy easy. So let's do this. Let's finish filling this guy up and we'll take it. We'll sell it at the BGA. First trailer full is ready. We've got a little bit more over there that we need to sell. And we're going to go ahead and do that today. It's just this 
Manure is on the ground. I don't like leaving it sitting. It's not a whole lot. It's probably about 10,000 liters, but we just need to do that. So let's get this dumped. And also, we have a modded BGA. I have gone into the files. I've modded this BGA. So this BGA will do, of course, do all the normal stuff that it'll do. However, it's going to do it in style. Very, very much so in style. Also, speaking of in style, we have a uh, sell anything mod right here. I do like that mod. It's a very, very good mod. Yeah, almost done. We're going to get this thing up to about 70,000 liters and head back. Oh, not yet. We'll head back, get some more. Let's back this thing up and get it done quick. This is the rest of the manure right here. However, we've got, yeah, this guy right here, he's at 80, what, 78% done. Go, 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 go. This guy is almost full and there's no way he's going to make it back. Go, 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 go. There it is, the 80%. Come on, DJ. Move. There we go. And now, these trail. <laughs> I don't know what button I hit, but it was not the right one. There we go. Now these trailers have officially paid for themselves. Oh, that's what button I hit. <laughs> Let's go and bring that back down. What in the world? Oh my goodness. All right, well, this is getting unloaded. That is great. Uh, we'll be able to finish this field, which is also great. And uh, <laughs> we've got five more fields to go. Five more? Yep. Five more fields. Gosh. So now roughly 80,000 liters of manure is in digesting right now. And we are going to add some more as well. We've got some slurry to go and we've got milk as well. So the milk's going to be great. That's going to add a little bit extra cash right now. Milk is selling for pretty good, but we need to get it going fast. So here's what we're going to do. Slurry can be sold whenever it likes. Probably should have done milk first. As a matter of fact, milk is on my list first. It says, oh, we've got water in here. Huh. Do the cows need water? They could use some. Well, I think we would be, uh, it'd be animal tor torch. Let's give them, let's give the cows some water. Uh, oh, come on through. There we go. Open that up. Speaking of torture, we are about to just demolish all of these cows. There's no way to get rid of this water completely. I could take it to the sell anything point, but that's uh, not really going to work. So as soon as this is empty, I'm just going to go and um, we're just going to F11 it. Get it all out of here. There's no reason to keep it. That's a great thing about F11 too. <laughs> and about this map, I don't feel bad about f 11 water because guess what? Water's free. You don't you don't have to go anywhere for it. It's absolutely free. Are they going to take all this? No, that's full right there. Okay, F11 and empty. Perfect. Now there's one thing that we can't cheat and that is going to be milk. There's no way we could cheat that. That's just not going to look good on us. I'm going to bring this about right here. Ooh, can we get this thing out of there? Right about there. No, we didn't get the fill. Bring it back right here. How about that? There we go. 47,000 liters of milk. Is it rocking? It is rocking. So we're going to come through here. Let that go. That tank will hold all that. Now we're going to get the slurry so that the slurry is full and ready to go by the time we get back. Also, with this truck right here, this is the man truck. The faster you go and the faster you turn on a dime, oh, it is so awesome. It is just one of like, yep, I made the sound that I meant to make. <laughs> Let's bring this right here. Have the cows made any more manure for me? Not yet. Slurry, 69,000 liters. Of course, there's 69,000 liters. Let's hook up and sell the milk. Heading out to the ranch. Get some milk selling on. Let's see, Helper Eyes completed their task. Well, that is good to know. But what else is good to know is to see how much milk we get. Let's go and pop over here. Where's our helper at? There he is. What's up, dude? Good to see you in here. Let's see. You, yes you, look like you're ready to do some more sunflowers. So we are gonna set him right on here. Get it, got it good party rock baby now let's find out how much money we're gonna make up here and that is one hundred and one thousand dollars off of sold milk that was only forty one thousand <laughs> liters that's a whole lot right there let's head back next up is the slurry and now we've got our sixty nine thousand liters of slurry i will tell you guys whenever you get a chance if you've got the bga or not um if you're using manure and slurry to sell and make money 
Uh, I highly, highly recommend that you guys sell as often as possible, especially maybe you're not using seasons. Maybe you are, but the prices don't fluctuate much. Sell as often and as frequently as you can. It is going to make your life so much easier knowing that you don't have to do anything with this. There's that. We should have some digestate already made from our manure and our slurry should be making some right now as well. Yep, you see we've already got 37,000 liters of it. We're going to fill this up. I'm just going to leave this sitting for now because all that slurry has got to go through the digester and do its thing. It'll probably be ready in just a few minutes. So we'll come back when that's ready. Well, we've got a little downtime. I figured we could come over here and let this guy unload just a little bit as well. Um, this is almost full. So as soon as it hits 21,000, go, 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 go. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Got him. <laughs> so that's one thing, if you guys didn't know, if you can catch your combine and unload while they're on the go, they will stop if they're not harvesting or combining, doing anything like that. There we go, perfect. And my question is, sunflowers. Are we getting a decent price for sunflowers right now? Maybe, we've been doing pretty good so far. Uh, looks like our head price currently is over at restaurant for $2,336. That price is coming down too. So hopefully, we'll be able to get all this done. As a matter of fact, we could probably cart that down there with this instead of having to transport over to our other thing. Actually, matter of fact, do we have? Nope, there's none in at all. So I think we did a sunflower contract? Yeah, we did a sunflower and a corn contract. Totally forgot about that. Well, what's next? Now that one of the fields is already done, let's check this, 13,000, fill that up. Fill it up real quick and see if there's any, 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 any. I think that's got to be about it. Let's get this sold. We need to find something to do with our Case Magnum. The 7200 series, the old one. I have an idea for that case. I don't want to sell it. As a matter of fact, uh, I don't want to sell any vehicle that we buy. The reason I don't want to do that is because I feel like I would be wasting money we'd be wasting resources i don't want to waste resources or money 4900 bucks whoop whoop I do love that money let's take this back over here we'll just double check make sure nothing else has uh, digested but yeah that's empty we're done here i don't want to sell it but i have nothing to do with it right now so what we're going to do is we're going to move it from the shed that it's in so that the new holland has a place to go and we're just gonna kind of put it put it put we're gonna put baby in the corner for a little while we're gonna put baby in the corner and once baby is done and ready we will be able to use it for something else but for right now i don't have a use i don't see a use for it on our farm um i don't even think the model that we have can have a front loader uh so we're we're kind of at a stalemate with it because there's nothing to do with it if, this, <laughs> if that container wasn't there, we could put it there. But that container is there. And then that I can't do anything about. So let's put this away. We're going to put this guy over here. And we're going to move the case. Case Magnum's going to come, not in this shed, but that shed over there. You know it's bad when I can, <laughs> I can bump over to it by pressing right on the D-pad instead of left. Anytime you press left, that's going to be your most recent thing. If you press right, it's going to be your uh, the thing that you haven't reset or haven't purchased. And this guy has, as far as I'm concerned or, or know, has never been altered or reset in any way. <laughs> so it is still the very first piece of machinery here. And we're going to put it away. Right here. Right back in here. I'm just going to park it right there for now. We're just not using it. We're going to keep it, but I just don't have a use for it right now. Speaking of not having a use for something, this dad, <laughs> this pig pen right here, I it, it's in the way, but I don't have a use for anything else to go there either. We're going to hang on to that for a little while. Here's our new Holland. Oop, and our mirrors. Let's not be unfolding and folding wrong things in here. Let's see. That's not it. How do I get the, the back window to go down? Um, 
left? Yeah, that's it. There we go. Get that closed up. You don't want that. This is a beautiful tractor right here. We've got AC and all kinds of stuff in here. Let's back this up. Cows wasn't happy with me. <laughs> Cows was very unhappy with me that I took a new Holland and painted it <laughs> painted it gray. I was like, that's the new color. I don't know. I like it. I, I, I like the new Holland. Like I said, it's going to take some getting used to, but I think once you get used to it, it'll be all right. So now we only have one thing. I mean, we could plant, but I'm not going to be planting right now. We're going to plant everything maybe tomorrow, next day, something like that. Today is all about harvesting other than all the chores we've done. So let's just hang out, grab a, uh, a Coca-Cola, a bottle of water, grab a Snickers, and let's just hang out and wait. And here we are at the end of the, kind of the end of the road for this guy, isn't it? I'm trying to get a nice thumbnail, but I got nothing right now. There's just no way to get a good shot currently. We'll figure that out here in a minute. Actually, hang on, let's stop that. Stop that guy. Uh, maybe about right here. Let's see. Drop that down. Turn it off. Bring it down, though. About right there. We, we need a thumbnail, dang it. Something about like that. <laughs> the last bit of sunflowers. You guys digging with that? I dig with that. That's all right. It's not great, but we'll go from there. Sunflower harvest with DJ Goham. Right there it is. Might as well just do these ourselves. There's that. There is a little spot right here, so we're going to hit this. And then Sunflower Harvest is completely finished. Now we are going to have to come through and do corn as well, so I think. There we go. There's that. I think it would probably be wise to go ahead and get the corn started. Bring this in. Now should we do this field first, or should we do this field first? I have crop destruction off. I think we do this field first. This one right here. What I can do is I can hit this uh, hit this headland right beside the road real fast and then let him rock and roll. Let him go. Do his thing. There we go. Let's spin this real quick. Oh, that, that is that is a, a, a pile of stuff that's actually there. Oh, boy. Bring this right here. One thing, and this is my question to you, the, uh, the question of the day. What should the next brand of equipment be? Next vehicle. Um, there's one thing that I'm highly considering... And that is logging. The reason I'm highly considering logging is because I don't log. I don't do it. It's just not my thing, homie. But here, keep hitting the wrong button. This is what I'm looking for. This is all forest through here. And and it's pretty darn cheap as well. Plus, the sawmill has specials all the time. So I thought about trying to purchase a plot of land, maybe buy the sawmill to start with. And uh, and actually sell some sell some some wood, sell some logs, do some uh, wood chipping. I probably wouldn't sell logs. Probably do some wood chips. It's just a whole lot easier that way. But I don't know, let me know what you guys think. We'll definitely be using if we do any type of logging. We will definitely 100% using some North Modding Company stuff. I'll be hitting up T Bone and be like, "Yeah, what you recommend, homie." So we'll figure that out. Let's take this down, let's sell it, and let's see what our money's gonna be. It's the double dump, baby! Oh, yeah, I do love a good double dump. Now, this is dumping out really fast. I think we had close to, what was it, 30 some, almost 40,000 liters. So that means our money is officially 88,901. I didn't even look to see where the best price is. Maybe I did, it's at restaurant. Did I? I don't remember knowing that we were coming to restaurant. I, oh man, that scares me a little bit. Um, yep, well, we made good money. We're at $225,000 right now, which is decent, it's pretty good. Um, but it's time to get carting doing corn. And now that we've got two fields that have nothing in them, it makes you wonder, what do we put in them next? Well, I could tell you what I think we're gonna put in them next, and that is going to be cotton yep you heard me right we can plant it now so we have no reason not to do cotton now we'll have to get ourselves a harvester and those harvesters are not cheap however i don't plan on buying i plan on leasing oh yeah so let's get this guy set up let's put him over here hopefully the cars don't get in our way they are stopped thank you thank you thank you 
and we'll move along. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel. Make sure you join the Goham fam as well. Turn your notification bells on and never, never, ever miss an outro. Good job, DJ. <laughs> Mess that one all up. We're going to move on. Hope you guys have a great day. <laughs> Let's see you later. Oh, yeah. Peace.